Hi, welcome to excellab.org. We will see how to create future value interest factor table using Excel's data table function. So, so we know the future value interest factor which is 1 plus rate of interest raised to number of year which is n. Now we take, we will consider a different interest rate. So, so begin with 1%. So now we can we can select both and can use fill handle. So take up to let's say ten percent. Same in the column we can consider time period which is year. So so let's say this is number of years. So take up to let's say nine years. So so the column is the time period and the row is the interest rate. So now what what I will do? So so the rate of interest which is 1% and and the time period which is starting with 1 so 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 this this is our table and and we want the the interest factor values in all the you know vacant cells so what i will do or uh, this corner that is the left top corner i will i will put the formula one plus r is true n so so one plus this is our rate and uh, raised to the end which is one so we will get 1.01 1 .01. so so this is our formula one plus r is true n and Now, now to fill all all the cells, what I will do, I will select, I will select this table, then go to data tab, then go to what if analysis, data table function. Now, now, now first it is asking for row input cell. So we know the row is one percent, two percent, three percent, up to ten percent. So, so I will give the reference which is. 1% now remember the value should be outside this table that's why you know i have written outside the the table the selected table and the column is the years which is 1 2 3 4 up to 9 year so so again give the reference this is b7 so so press ok and and we will see all the values now we can see here we get all the values this is interest factor future value interest factor values so so make take up to take up to four decimals so 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 we can see you know now just correct this its percentage and this is this is a year okay so so we get we got all the values so so you can see this is future value interest factor values uh, using Excel's data data table function.